Well hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today we're doing something a little bit different because today we're going to be starting our Let's Play Survival series. That's right guys, we're not doing a tutorial today or a, or a speed build or anything like that. We're going to be doing a survival Let's Play. This is something I've been wanting to do for quite a long time now, but I haven't had the means of recording my uh, my computer screen, but I've recently got a new computer and it's super duper fast and I can do all the things I've ever wished I could do on this computer so I can screen record it's going to open up a lot of new opportunities for different types of videos for the channel so make sure you keep an eye out for those but today we're going to be starting our let's play survival series so let's create the world and see what we get so what should we call our world let's call it something simple for now should we call it walking whale world sounds good to me and uh I haven't got a whole lot of plans for this series um, I'd love to hear what you guys um, would uh, like to see if you'd let me know down below and then we can sort of build this world together uh, let's just press create new world there and um, ideally what I would like is maybe a bit of an island like a, like a medium not too big not too small like a medium sized island and maybe build like a bridge over to the mainland so we can collect resources stuff like that and maybe build up like a bit of a village on an island with maybe a church or a, or a castle in the middle something like that something really good um, I'm not sure what style we can do it in yet but uh, so we're just loaded into this world now it's looking pretty good so far we've uh, we've we've spawned next to a, is that a swamp over there I can see um, and there's, there's um, a lot of a lot of water um, but yeah you know how this thing goes first things first let's start punching some trees and getting some uh, some starter resources and um, and what, what I'll do is you know obviously you guys um, a lot of you have, have, have played survival Minecraft so I, I won't bore you with a lot of the status you know survival stuff so what I'll do is I'll edit the video so you can see all the exciting bits and um, and show you what I'm doing from time to time but let's just continue punching these trees and collecting a few bits and I'll see you in a second I've uh, I've been collecting a few little bits and um, we've got some a little bit of food bit of raw mutton uh, we've got some wooden tools I need to find some um, some some cobble so we can make a furnace and cook that but I've, uh, I've just come across this um, mushroom dark oak biome here uh, it's a bit exciting yes yeah? so, because it's one of my favorite woods so I think I might collect um, a few pieces of this wood a few saplings so we can grow our own wherever we set up our base um, I still haven't found a place for us what I might do is I might actually look on mine atlas and see if there's any nearby islands that we could start our uh, survival adventure on and uh, see if we can get there I do need to find another white sheep so I can make um, a bed because uh, that is that is pretty bit of an emergency actually um, right it has taken me absolutely ages to find the sheep and it's getting dark so luckily we've just found him at the last second uh, so if we can just quickly just kill this guy, sorry Mr. Sheepy, but I'm gonna die. So let's just quickly make a bed. I can hear some spiders nearby, so we need to make this quick. Totally nearly forgot how to make a bed there, let's quickly make a bed. Doesn't matter what colour. Let's jump in and let's make a daytime. Brilliant! Right, let's pick up our bed and pick up our, oh my axe is broken, let's pick up our crafting bench and let's go, fa actually first of all, let's just venture into this little cave here if it's safe, it doesn't sound too safe to be honest, but let's just venture in and try and get some of this coal and some of this stone because we do need to make a furnace. Quite a lot of coal there, we'll grab that as well. I can hear some spiders, I think they might be below us if I'm not incorrect there. Just grab some of this coal, get a few bits of XP on the way. And uh, but yeah, please let me know guys how you enjoy this video as I was a bit you know a bit wary about starting one of these videos. Yeah, I'm not used to speaking just organically to camera. And um, some of you guys might have seen my uh, my tweet we're asking you guys on some advice on how to speak organically to camera because normally in my tutorials and stuff I usually write a script and um, and record it um, separate to the video so this is not something I'm used to so just let me know how I'm getting on and um, if you guys have any extra tips or hints and, and ideas of things you want to see or things you'd like to see me do then um, then please let me know down below I need all the help I can need 
but yeah I think in this series because um, I don't really play a lot of survival so I think it, a lot of it will just be um, you guys watching me um, sort of do experimental builds you know get some get some obviously I am a builder I'm not a redstone guy or or a, um, a big like farm builder but I would like to start building some some uh, some redstone farms and stuff like that you know um, I can build some simple ones like sugarcane farms pumpkins farms that sort of stuff but I'd really quite like to get into some like bigger um, some larger style farms I do like to make builds around the farms to make them sit into the environment which is something I like doing so so again you guys can help me on ideas to cover up things like that but uh, let's just quickly make ourselves a furnace I'm surprised we haven't actually dropped any food bars yet we've been doing a bit of running around but let's just quickly make a furnace we've got some coal there just pop that down there for now pop that in pop that in and uh, yeah I still haven't had a look to see if there's an island nearby I'll do that now actually while this is cooking and uh, then we shall head over and see if we can set up our permanent base and hopefully by the end of this episode we should have ourselves a bit of a starter house hopefully anyway so guys we're all upgraded to stone tools now so we're a bit more protected and uh, I've actually found an island on uh, mine atlas that isn't too far away and it is actually a tiger island and a tiger tiger biome is my favorite biome so I think we're gonna head oh hello cow it's in the wrong place at the wrong time there we go uh, a tiger biome is actually my favorite biome um, and it's quite a, a sizable island so what we're going to do is we're going to get to the coast which is this way which is west I believe and uh, once we hit the coast we can make ourselves a little boat and uh, we'll head to the coordinates that I've got here and set up camp on our new island and hopefully start our new adventure together and what is that over there oh I thought I, thought I was saying things I don't know why but I thought I saw a castle and I know, I know castles don't spawn in Minecraft, but I thought so one anyway. Let's uh, just grab some of these pumpkins while we're here. You never know when we're going to need to make some pumpkin pie. And uh, let's kill a couple of these pigs on the way. Sorry, Mr. Piggy. Yummy. We'll have a bacon sandwich later on. I should have built a boat to get over here, but it's not too far, so... Come here, you little bacon sandwich. Lovely. No, is this the coast I can see here? I believe it is. Right, well, let's just have a little something to eat. A little chomp on that. And then, I think we'll build ourselves a boat and we'll head out, I think, towards that way, I think, to find our new home. There, I know that there's a lot of islands on the way, um, so we can't be fooled by those. We may have to stop off at one to make it daytime because I don't really want to be caught up in um, a load of mobs when we get to the island. I don't really want to hang around in the boat in the water because it is a bit spooky down there. In fact, let's go to this island and just quickly make it daytime. Lovely. Right, let's just stay away from that ocean monument for now. Don't think we're quite ready to tackle one of those. Let's just stay around that a bit. It's looking a bit ominous. Oh, is that, is that a shipwreck I can see there? Or is it just dirt? I think it might be just dirt. Yeah, it's just dirt. Wow. Oh, hello little dolphin. He's coming along with us. Oh, look guys, we've got a, um, an ice biome here. Now this is interesting because we're not too far away from our uh, target island. So if this is nearby, we can maybe do something with these. Um, but it's always good to know... Oh, there's another monument. Keep away from that. But again, not too far away from where we are planning to go. So we could maybe uh, drain that out one day. I think I can see our island guys. Is this our island? This looks like it. Doesn't look like an island but I think it is. Let's just have a little... Can we go up the river? We need to, we need, I wish we could get up high so we could see 
see the area, but this looks really promising. I think if we we use what use this, I think it's quite it is big island, but I think we can. There's icebergs on the other, so it's surrounded by ice. Okay. Hmm. This island is quite big. It's bigger than I thought, actually. So guys, after a little bit of further inspection of the island, I thought it wasn't really what we were looking for, it was a bit too big and um, <clears throat> as, as much as I love the tiger biome, it was just it didn't feel right. So I had a little bit of a further look around and it took me a few thousand uh, blocks to find this place. Now this place looks amazing. Now it looks quite complicated and complex and it's got all sorts of different little bits, but I think once we take the trees out, it could make a really good place for like a... Um, I like a, a sort of a medieval village, not so, so much medieval, but sort of like cottagey. Um, we could put like a docks um, down here at the front. We could find ourselves a nice place to build our starter house in this episode, clear out a few of the trees, maybe get some lighthouses built up on these little islands. And if you look over in the distance there, we've got some, um, the, the mainland's just there, so it's not too far away. We can maybe build a bridge or or um, just boat over, depends on, on um, how far that actually is away but I think this is, could be a really really good place to start and um, there's plenty of cows and stuff around so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, find some resources and uh, find us a nice place to build our starter house and set the tone for the island and the style of build and uh, and yeah maybe build a little farm or something or maybe leave that for the next episode but, uh, but yeah let's go find somewhere to build our starter house so I'm just starting to clear out this main um, centre area of the island, just trying to uh, chop some of these trees down. It's uh, taken me a while to get this far. I've got lots and lots of, of well, stack and two stacks and a bit of wood so far, so that's quite good. We've got a long way to go. There's a couple of wolves wandering around here, so I might wait until it's night time and hopefully try and kill a skeleton, because one of these guys would be very, very handy. Um, and and cute of course sorry and very cute um, and then once we've cleared out this area I think the best place for our um, our starter house um, would be around here somewhere so that we can get a good central area to work from so we can work on all of these areas around the uh, around the island and um, once I've cleared this area we'll go back up to that hill and we'll see if there's um, see if we can get a better vantage point of the whole place and see where it will be best Okay, so night time's coming in now, so hopefully we'll get ourselves a skeleton somewhere. Um, this might be a very stupid idea to do this this early on, um, but we'll see what happens. This this island's just full of life. We've got pigs, we've got cows, we've got we've got dogs, we've got all sorts of stuff. I think we've chosen a really nice place here. I can't see any mobs yet though. Let's have a little look around. We've got spiders. There's a skeleton there. Let's see if we can get in. There's quite a lot of mobs over here. This is probably going to be a bad idea. We're going to get shot. Here we go. Oh, oh, they're all coming over. This is not what we need. There we go. We've got some bones. Brilliant. Oh, this this lake's quite deep. Oh yeah, this I can imagine like cottages either side of this river. Okay, this is this is bad. The, the, there's monsters everywhere. I don't think we'll be able to sleep here. Oh my goodness. Sleep, 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 sleep. Quick, 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 quick. There's going to be a creeper to the left. I can see it. It's there. Okay. Whew. Don't know if I'm ready to fight one. Never mind two. Okay, let's do this. Oh, goodness me. Oh my goodness me. I'm going to fall in the river. <gasps> one down. Oh. I knew that was too good to be true. Oh, never mind. There's one over there. I think he might be alright. We'll just leave him there for now. And let's patch this all up. Now let's see if these bones will be enough to get ourselves a little doggy friend. Come here, doggy. Come here. Oh, he's running away. This is not a good sign. Dog, come here. One, two. Right, brilliant. I'll come back with more later on. Stay here. Attempt two. Come here, little doggy. Stay still. Come here. Ready? Yes! Well done. Great. Oh, you're so cute. Right, guys, I think I know 
you know what I'm going to ask you to do next and that is to name this little guy. We haven't got any name tags yet but when we do we will name this guy so let me know down below what you think we should call him because he's super super duper cute. Let's give him a little bit of a uh, little bit of rotten flesh just to make him a little bit happy. Do you want to stay there little doggy? Brilliant. Now let's continue clearing this because it's taken absolutely ages. But I finally cleared out most of the trees on this main middle area and I think we're going to build our starter house uh, just in this corner here or maybe at the back here um, just sort of a central area and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go and do a bit of mining maybe do a little entrance down here we'll, we'll make a nice pretty mine entrance in, in a further episode we'll do temporary one down here get some materials and then yeah we'll start building our starter house and uh, quickly need to run to the bed because there's going to be some some uh, some ghosties and ghoulies coming now so uh, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll see you in the mines okay so I'm gonna start a little mining entrance here in the side of this hill um, we won't go too deep we just need some iron and, and a bit of stone and, and hopefully some diorite because I've got an idea for um, for a bit of a, for a bit of a style for our um, start house and the rest of the village really we're gonna go for a sort of like coastal and um, white and wood and um, style like cottage and um, with maybe some brick roofs stuff like that some nice chimneys popping out the top things like that and um, really inspired by some like like English English coastal fishing village sort of builds that sort of look so we'll just get a few materials do a bit of experimenting and see how it turns out Guys, so I've built out a little uh, plan for our start house. We're over here at the back half of the island. There's our little bed over there. Um, so at the back here, we've got. Now bear with me. I know it looks a bit ugly at the minute, but we've got some uh, some diorite. We've got some concrete powder, and uh, we're going to build this wall up a little bit with some concrete. And then once we've done that, we're going to build a second floor out of wood. Um, I think I've, I've gone and got some st uh, spruce wood and some dark oak wood. So we're going to build up a second floor with the wood. And then I've got a bit of clay in the oven over there. So then we can start building a bit of brick roof. And that should just finish the thing off nicely. We've got three different layers of colours. And I think it's going to look really nice next to the, the nice blue water over here. We've got a really annoying um, travelling uh, trader here. But I may... Um, I may just uh, pinch those leads off him in a second if he doesn't be quiet um, but we've got our little door here and then I'm thinking of coming in the front here and then having a little back garden here maybe for a few crops and stuff like that so um, once I've done a little bit more I'll come back and I'll show you the progress just finishing up the um, the first floor uh, wall sorry um, I'm using this concrete and it's been a pain in the bum to collect because it just keeps running out um, but I think it's going to be worth it in the end and once I've completed this um, this first white area here then we'll move up to the second bit using the wood oh missed a bit lovely you can see it's nice and textured we've gone for the rougher sort of textures down below to make it look a bit worn and then the smooth textures up above where it'll be a bit cleaner and um, yeah so let's move on to the next floor Okay guys, so this is the progress we've got so far. We've started on the upper floor. I've added some yellow glass panes in. I just think it makes it look a bit look like uh, like a coastal uh, cottage. I think it fits the look we're going for. And uh, I've got some stripped uh, some stripped dark oak for the beams of the upstairs, and then some stripped uh, regular oak with a bit of um, plank in there for texture. And then inside, I've added a little staircase, and I'm now just going to use these slabs just to fill in the upstairs floor so we can start walking around the place and I'm gonna add a few more details and then we can add the roof finally I've got some clay in the oven um, over there ready to start building the bricks for the roof and then once we've done that we can start bringing everything over and maybe build a little temporary storage system um, and a little garden out the back I ran out of blooming coal again Okay guys, we've actually finished our first house now and I'll give you a look at it in a sec But first of all, I'd just like to say if there's anything that I've learned from this process is that uh, concrete is a pain in the bum to collect and uh, I need to find some um, some scaffolding as soon as possible because this was difficult to make this early on game But I'll show you the house now. So if you just turn around there we go ladies and gentlemen now i know this is quite a lot for a start house but i wanted to sort of set the tone for the island that we're going to transform and um i think it looks pretty nice we've got some nice 
deco on the outside we've used some brick um some brick up there uh, and some um and some granite for a bit of texture as well so if you just come on inside the house we've got some nice roses at the door um, we've got a little workshop here, we've got some chests, temporary storage, uh, a little stone cutter uh, and then over here we've got our kitchen with um, we've got a bit of iron on the go there, we need to find some more coal, we'll go mining soon and um, we've got some cupboard and storage and stuff and then we've got ourselves a nice little staircase upstairs and then on the first floor there's not a lot, a little desk, uh, a little loft area here um, a little armor stand, we need to get some armor soon because um, we're going to start venturing out and we're going to need to start protecting ourselves a bit more and then here we've got the bedroom, we need to decorate this place a little bit more um, but around here we've got a little little wardrobe with the plant and some more storage and of course our little doggy friend who still needs a name so don't forget to put your suggestions down below for him and then if we go back outside, just go down this little stair, nice little bush decoration there back down the stairs and out into the back garden we've got ourselves a little garden with a bit of wheat on the go and um, I do need some more food because I am starving we need to uh, think of a, a more um, efficient way to get food because we are struggling at the minute so we might have to um, do some sort of farm in the next episode and then we've got a little a little um, a little dock area to go fishing off so we can collect some fish um, and then this is the back of the house pretty much the same as the front but but yeah I'm pretty pleased with this uh, oh sorry and then around here we've got a little path around the side here very nice so yeah I'm pretty pleased with that what we're gonna do is we're gonna flatten out this land a bit more fill all the little holes over here with a bit of dirt and um, and start to expand the island in this sort of style and uh, maybe build like a courtyard here with like um, a storage uh, area and, and some docks over there and some stuff on the hills and stuff like that I'm really excited for this guys I think next episode we might build ourselves a, a big storage area um, so we can really start building stuff and working from this uh, central area but yeah let me know what you think of the video down, down below guys and that's all we've got time for today so hope you enjoyed the build let me know what you thought and i'll see you all in the next episode tatty bye